Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today is going to be um, a brief video review on the Neva Sofa by Sixpenny. Um, this is what you're looking at. It's the 84 inch Neva Sofa. Um, and I also have um, added two sectional sized ottomans um, to the sofa. And these are both, <clears throat> excuse me, um, all three pieces. So two ottomans plus the Neva sofa. Um, all three pieces are from Sixpenny. They are in the Pacific Pearl in custom, uh, excuse me, Pacific Pearl in, the, in uh, linen. And I believe I chose the medium weight linen. I don't really understand what the difference is between the light, medium, and heavy weight. Um, and how I don't really understand how that would make a difference, but in any case, um, I believe I did go with the medium weight and that seems perfectly fine to me. Um, as you can see, I have added, um, I did throw on a sheet here, um, just to help keep the couch protected. Granted, you can actually, uh, remove all of the slip covers. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like underneath the sheet that I have it have on it here. It is white custom linen in Pacific Pearl. I think I already said that. Um, and you can remove all of these pieces. Even here, what I'm looking at is the bottom piece here, the base of the ottoman. So that's what it looks like underneath the base. Um, and it's the same material under the couch this color here um, but you can actually um, remove the slip covers and um, wash them they are machine washable you can also um, dry clean them as well and um, yeah so this is the 84 inch uh, Neva sofa sectional size ottomans what makes this sofa unique um, or their furniture pieces unique um, is that the Neva sofa is actually a bench style cushion. So um, you don't have to worry about like falling in between um, cushions or anything like that. It's just one solid bench style cushion. Um, the material, uh, there's two options for uh, their furniture pieces, uh, specifically the couches and ottomans and I believe chairs as well. So you can either do down or you can do the down alternative. I personally chose down um, just because I thought it might feel more comfortable. I do not know what the down alternative feels like, so I cannot speak on that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that is um, pretty much the facts on that. Um, it definitely is the type of couch that you sink into. Um, so I would say anyone with maybe back issues may want to reconsider. There are no stores to my knowledge where you can actually go and, and person in person and try out the furniture for comfort. Um, but one thing I did notice, it just, it did take me a little bit of getting used to is that you really do sink into this couch and I, um, you know, for my mattress, for example, I always prefer a firm mattress. Um, and this is very much, this is just like very different. It's very much the opposite. You very, you really sink into it. And some people like that and some people don't. So definitely take that into consideration um, when you want, decide to try it. Um, if you decide to try out their furniture pieces. Now they do have sales. Um, relatively often I would say um, definitely like around holidays 4th of July I believe they do one um, I think I remember they did one for President's Day they're not always super transparent about um, about when their sales are but if you get someone um, that actually you know, wants to be helpful and help you out, um, they might let you know when their sale is. Um, so, you know, they're relatively expensive couches um, and furniture pieces. So I think, you know, for me, it made sense to wait for a sale. Um, and I'm glad that I did. It was, it was worth the wait. 
Um, and let's see, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, delivery process, they do offer a white glove delivery. Um, I believe it's about $100. And um, they will get rid of all the boxes for you, um, put, you know, put any pieces together that need to be put together and um, and all of that. They did a relatively decent job. I didn't have them put together the Ottomans because there was nothing really to put together. Um, just I just needed to get rid of the boxes, which was not difficult for me. Uh, I was able to do that on my own. But with the Neva couch, um, I did notice there was a little bit of, um, like dirt like staining um from when they did set it up actually i never said anything about it but uh, i definitely did notice it kind of hard not to notice it with a white couch uh whether or not it will come out i i don't know um i guess i'll find out someday when i decide to if i ever need to launder those slip covers um only because I do keep the sheet on top of that and I just choose to wash that every week versus um, having to deal with removing the slip covers. Uh, it just works out better for me. But um, anyway, so that's kind of a little bit about the delivery process, sales, and uh, price-wise, I believe this couch is in the 3000 mark, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then the Ottomans, each piece, I think, um, without a sale, it's 900, I believe they were 900 a piece. So you will spend quite a bit, um, which is why I do recommend the sale, um, you know, waiting for that. But anyhow, I hope that you, uh, have found this review helpful. I did record another review, but I felt like the couch was kind of a mess and it was sort of a lazy spur of the moment review. So I decided to redo it. Um, also, during the daylight where you can kind of get a better view, better perspective. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's any other information I wanna add. Um, I guess as far as like how many people can fit. So I would say that like, I think like three average size people can fit um, on this couch quite comfortably. And um, I guess, um, let's see, I would also say that like one downside about this couch is that the Neva sofa itself does wrinkle very easily, so you do have to fluff it up often. Um, and I feel that they should the they should have overstuffed the Neva couch and pillows that come with the couch. Um, and I'm talking about the large pillows back here, not these little ones. Those little ones are my own personal pillows. Um, but I do feel that they should have stuffed these, overstuffed these a lot more than they did. If you notice, the ottoman pieces are super overstuffed. They're super overstuffed and it's wonderful. But I just don't understand why they didn't do the same thing with the Neva couch. Um, I don't know if that's because these are sectional ottomans and technically the sectional couch would have been more expensive. And so maybe they put more effort into the more expensive piece. I don't really know, but I really feel like the Neva couch is not a cheap piece either. And I think I just would expect that um, they would have stuffed them equally, um, especially because when it the when when pieces are overstuffed like the ottomans like these ottomans do not wrinkle they don't wrinkle at all because they're so overstuffed there's really no opportunity for them to get wrinkled um, whereas I unfortunately I can't say the same for the Neva um, couch it definitely does wrinkle a lot and that's just I get that it's supposed to be like a relaxed lived in. Um, looking piece but like I just think that both pieces like the ottomans on the couch should be stuffed e like equally the same with the same quality um, and I don't feel that they uh, that they did that so um, the other thing I would just mention is just so you know the sectional ottomans you know they do have a smaller ottoman that actually matches this 
couch size wise however i really wanted that extra um length and width uh by using the sectional size ottomans and so that's why i opted for the sectional ottomans and not the true smaller ottomans that go are supposed to go with this couch because one might say that these auto, sectional ottomans are actually bigger than my couch um but I was okay with that. I really wanted like a comfy, um, almost like pit to just be able to have plenty of room and be super comfortable. And I just didn't feel like I would get that as much with the smaller Ottomans. So that is why I opted for the larger sectional size Ottomans. And I'm very happy with my choice to have done that. Um, I think that it still looks very um, aesthetically nice and um, very happy with my choice. It is very comfortable. Um, I've you know gotten used to the whole um, sinking into the couch feeling and um, I've definitely fallen asleep on this. Myself and my dogs have fallen asleep on this couch several times. Um, and if you look over here in the corner, I'll show you real quick. Um, I did set up a little puppy stairs and I've got two little ottomans, um, cheap little ottomans I grabbed from Target, like they're so old, they're from forever ago. Anyways, threw a blanket on top of that so my little girl can um, look out the window if she likes to and then she can uh, transfer onto the couch whenever she feels like it. But I tucked it behind the puppy stairs behind the couch so see what I mean you can't even really you actually can't even notice it so I thought that was fairly clever um, of me to do that so I just wanted to share in case anyone else has pets at home and you want to be able to accommodate them as well you could um, learn from my idea here um, of just hiding the stairs over on the side so anyhow all right I'm gonna end this video if you have any questions definitely feel free to leave them in the comments below and um, happy furniture shopping. Bye guys.